Well, how y'all doing today? Hope y'all having a blessed day. I'm going to have to try to get all this information in here. Because for some reason, if I make a video over 16 minutes, uh, YouTube wants my phone number. They want to send me a code. And I never get that code, so i got to shorten my video. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the logistics of things, okay? And I do know about logistics. Um, I was married to a truck driver. Uh, he was a Canadian. We drove out of Canada. And uh, it was a way of life for us. We lived in the truck 24-7 for about 12 years. Yep. And I have seen my share of docks, so I know what a dock looks like, including a cross-border inspection dock, which a lot of truck drivers don't experience because they don't cross into other countries, which we went in and out of Canada all the time. And uh, we've been to many cross docks. That's where they unload your product. Uh, they stage it in a certain area. Uh, and then they call the merchant, and the merchant usually gets a, another company, more local, to deliver their merchandise to them. So needless to say, I've seen my share of docks. I know what a dock looks like. And I'm telling you this because I seen a video on YouTube the other day of a supervisor at a, at a, a docking facility who had unloaded a truck and called the merchant to make arrangements to have that load picked up, and uh, they were told to let it sit. Uh, he asked why, and they would not give an explanation. They just told him to let it sit. Now, them little docks are not set up for that. They're set up to get a load coming from someplace and send it out, either that night or the next day, to where it's going, and they just keep a flow through going. He said they, uh, he asked them why they would not give him a, uh, an explanation. They just told him to let it sit. Okay. Um, he said never seen anything like it. And he said it's happening all over the place. That we should expect to see shortages like we've never seen in our life. Now, I posted that video to my Facebook, and it was not rejected as false information. And I believe what he's saying is true. Now, that's going to cause a backup. And apparently, the same thing is going on in the ports with emptying out containers. I've also seen several videos posted by truck drivers where there's four, five, six hundred trucks sitting there. And most of them are sitting there empty, waiting on loads, waiting to be filled, waiting for products. And they're not happy about it. They're saying there are no shortages of drivers. There are shortages of products. And is there any wonder? For some reason, uh, the merchants aren't taking their merchandise. So it's not that there's not product. It's just that the merchants are refusing to move it. Now, Walmart's is a big operation. We've uh, delivered to Walmart several times. And they have warehouses uh, uh, almost every other state. And they can, uh, they can store any product that goes into their store, whether it's frozen, uh, produce, canned goods, what have you. Now, I don't believe truck drivers are lying about this because uh, having experienced it firsthand and having it being a way of life, uh, time is money for a truck driver because you need that product. Uh, that product helps pay your wages, okay? And uh, you need that time to run your miles. Uh, that's how you get paid, by miles, uh, for the most part. So uh, time is money for them. They would not be lying about that. Uh I have never seen so many shortages on my Walmart app than I did today. Uh, canned goods, milk products, uh, can't get a ham right now, and it's only December 1st. I'm hoping that they will get more hams in, and I went up in price, and it didn't matter. I would get a pop-up 
out of stock. Please try again later. I have seen some shortages, but not like I did today. Not not like I did today. Okay. What's up with the milk products? Okay. I, I don't think this is a coincidence that uh, in a month's time, the shortages have tripled on my Walmart app uh, at least by three times. Okay. And I don't think it's a, a it's a coincidence with the new variant out. And I was very surprised you can't even get a gallon of milk. Okay. Now I was thinking about that. Uh, when a mother is nursing her baby, they tell you to be careful what medications you take because it can be passed on to the baby through your breast milk. Is it possible that uh, dairy cows are coming down with COVID? And uh, it's being passed through their milk and pasteurization isn't killing it. What's what's with the shortage of, of dairy products? Now, I know a lot of people are, are stocking up. They're prepping. Uh, people used to call us hoarders. But I have a feeling those people are, are, are prepping themselves now. Uh, prepping is not, nothing new to me. Uh, my people come out of the Appalachian Mountains. And you grew and you canned. And uh, you had animals. And you you prep to get through the winter. It was a matter of survival. Living in the Appalachian Mountains myself, you can get snowed in there, so you learn to do that. You learn to stock up. And having driven uh, every winter several times through the Rockies, uh, you learn to prep and be prepared because you can get snowed in in the Rockies out in the middle of nowhere, several thousand feet elevation. To them passes and stuff, you learn to prep. So it's been a way of life for me for a long time. But like I said, I have a feeling that a lot of those people that called us hoarders are, are, have switched over to being preppers now. But I'm finding it very disturbing. Even people I know that can get out and do their own grocery shopping are finding empty shelves. And, and they have started, uh, if they see something they need, or, or usually get, uh, buying several of it. You know, that's not causing a shortage, okay? That's not what is causing the shortage, people stocking up on stuff. When there are cross stocks and warehouses sitting full of stuff that merchants aren't wanting to move, okay, uh, since the new variant, mm-mm. No, and no, I don't believe, uh, like I said, I posted that to my Facebook and it was not rejected or marked as false uh, information, which they will do in a heartbeat. And no, the truck drivers won't lie about that because time is money for them. That's their income. So this is not meant to scare you. But if it shakes you up enough to make you start prepping, then I'm glad I'm having this talk with you. Because from what I've seen, coming from warehouses and truck drivers and have, li have lived the life of a truck driver, there's no reason why there shouldn't be products in the stores. They simply ain't moving it. And they ain't giving no good excuse, no excuse at all as to why. So um, I'd like to encourage you all today to prep as much as you can for at least a month. Because it ain't making sense. It ain't making sense to the truck drivers when they say there's a shortage of drivers. It ain't making sense to the dock workers when they've got products sitting on their docks that they don't have room for. And the merchants won't take them. Something's not adding up. Okay, so... I like to encourage you to do all the prepping that you can, especially if you have children. I'm even finding it hard to get some of my medications, which I need. Y'all take care and have a blessed day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.